Hey guys, welcome back to Wix Fix. Today I'm going to be teaching you about Wix CMS. So if you've ever been online, like ever, and been to an online store or a blog, those are two examples of what CMS is used for. CMS stands for Content Management System. So as you can see, that Content Management System is telling the page what to show. And then if we click on a product on an e-com store, it opens up a product page that gives you more information on that product. And then if we go back and select another product, the design is almost exactly the same, just the content in it is different. This is exactly what the content management system is for. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up a basic content management system and how to display stuff on the page. And also we can categorize stuff with tags. And I'll also show you how to set up a dynamic page similar to the product page that we just saw. Let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is just create a simple tutorial page. Next, we're going to go down to Content Manager. Right here is where you can create a new collection or a new CMS database. Go ahead and press Create New. Uh, we're going to call this one Characters. And we'll call this Tutorial since I already have my own database called Characters. The next thing you're going to notice is it's going to open up something like this. So this first one right here is always gonna be here no matter what you do. So the first thing I always do is go ahead and change it. So we're gonna call this character name. And we're gonna go ahead and press this other plus sign to add another field. And we're gonna call this image. And we're gonna make sure that we change the field type to image. Next, let's go ahead and add a tag a tag section for like what movie they're gonna be in. This will help us sort out where they belong in the pages when we create separate pages for it. In order to do this, we need to change the field type to tags down here. And then lastly, I just wanna get like a movie poster one so that when the user clicks on the actual character, it brings up more information about it and shows the movie poster in that. So now let's go ahead and start filling it out. So just for an example, since I already have a database set up that we can use, I'll just fill out this first one to show you an example. So first let's do like Buzz Lightyear. And then we'll go ahead and select an image. It's gonna open up the Wix library. And then you can select Buzz. And then he's in the Toy Story movie. So we'll go ahead and put st Toy Story. And then we'll go ahead and select the movie poster as well. And then once you're done filling all of these out, you can go ahead and press sync sandbox to live and that's basically gonna publish it. In this example, if we go back to the home page, all this is is a repeater. So basically a repeater is something that you can create several different items in and they'd all hold the same general design. However, we're gonna connect this, this repeater to a database, which is the one that we just created right here. So let me kind of go over how to create the repeater I did. It's not very intuitive by any means, but we'll go ahead and go to list and grid. I always use this one right here. And then for this example, I just kind of made these larger. I kind of pulled the text I made them dark and then I centered them, put them about here. I deleted this and I put it under here. And then we're gonna change this to like view more, I guess. And we're gonna go ahead and change this button to like a darker color. And I changed the font on the other one as well, but I'm not gonna worry about doing that. And then basically all on these, I changed the background to nothing. All right, and then I grabbed like a quick image. So let's just grab one of these guys, put them in the repeater, shrink them down a little bit. So as you can see, everything that I'm doing, it is affecting all of the other repeaters, except for the, the background and stuff like that. But everything else is exactly the same. 
Now, in order to connect this to the database, we go down to Content Manager, we do Add Content Element, and we do Data Set. Now, this little yellow part right here is basically saying we haven't connected this database element to the database, so go ahead and press Settings. We're going to choose the database, and we're going to do we're going to use mine just because it's already set up fully. And now, when we press Preview nothing has happened because I forgot to link it. So right here, if we select the image, there's always going to be a little icon like this that connects it to data. So we're going to choose the data set and basically that links it to this, which is linked to the data set we just created. And then the image source, we're going to do character image. Next, we're going to grab this title. We are going to link this to the data set as well. And we're going to make sure that this is the character title. And then this, I will show you in just a minute. But basically, let's just make sure this works real quick. There we go, it's, it's showing all the right things, which is awesome. I know everything is cut off and looks ugly, but I apologize, this is just an example. Next, what we're gonna go ahead and do is create a page similar to this. So if we go click Incredibles, and we press Preview, it's gonna show all of the characters from the Incredibles. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a page like that. And all you really need to do is, let's say tutorial, we'll just go ahead and duplicate this page. So if we open this up, it's gonna look like nothing has changed. But when we click the data set, we do settings, here we can add a filter. So go ahead and add filter. We are gonna filter in from the tags that we set up and we're gonna do, um, the Incredibles. So now when we preview this tutorial Incredibles page, it should only show the Incredibles characters. There we go. Now the last thing I wanna show you is kinda of like that target product page where if they click view more, then it's gonna open up a page based on the character that they selected. So first we need to go to Content Manager. We're gonna to go to add a dynamic page. And it's gonna create one for us real quick. It's gonna look ugly, don't worry about it. So we're just gonna delete all of those. And bring this off to the side. We're gonna go ahead and add an image. So we'll just grab him again. We'll pull him over here. Then we'll go ahead and grab like a text. I'm not gonna style these at all. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add another image. And we'll make this like the poster one. So we'll shrink this one up a little bit put it right here and then we'll also grab another text so it'll say the movie so we'll go ahead and grab this one it's a little bit smaller now we just need to do the same thing we did with the repeater and connect everything to this data set so we'll go ahead and press connect to data we'll do character image then this one we will connect to title again this one we will connect to the movie poster, and then this one we're gonna connect to the tag. There we are, so now we are about to preview the Buzz Lightyear one, so let's press preview. It shows Buzz Lightyear's picture, his name, the movie he's in, and the poster of the movie. So there you go, that kind of is a quick summary of what the CMS can do. There are a million different things you can do with it but this is to help spark some inspiration and just give you a general guide of how it works. I hope this helps, and if you learned anything, be sure to press that subscribe button, and if you have any questions about Wix, CMS, or Editor X, or anything like that, leave them in the comments below, and I'll try to get to them as soon as possible. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see y'all in the next one.